Dear students, how are you? Hopefully you are well. Today we are going to discuss about chapter 5.1 and we are talking about basic part and some problem solutions. We know this 5.1 uh, chapter actually depending on the problem solution and here uh, first of all we are talking about the variable. We know that what actually the variable is. Uh, the variable means something which uh, value can be vary or the which value should be uh, not fixed. That means uh, variable is something or uh, variable can be uh, denoted as denoted by a symbol or letter. A variable is something which can be represented by a symbol or letter whose value whose value are not fixed whose value are not fixed is called variable say for example suppose x plus 3 equal to or x equal 3 minus 3 plus 2 or minus 1 here I was written I equation that is x plus 3 equal to x plus 3 equal to where 2 and 3 these two are the digit and the value of 2 and 3 is fixed but the problem is x is unknown part here, here. so it is a looks like a symbol or a letter whose value are not fixed that means it has a value we don't know what actually the value is but they, uh, that value can be sensed so x is our unknown thing and that is called the variable say for example x minus 3 equal to if we are calculating this then it will be 3 plus 2 and it is 5 so uh, here x equal 5 same x is here and here is also so the value are not fixed so it is first of all it is an unknown thing or the value of this is unknown and this is not fixed this is called actually the variable our second part our second part is what actually the basic difference between equation and uh, identity. Equation and identity. Uh, generally, we need to just uh, focus on the basic difference between these two parts. Why? Uh, why there is a basic uh, difference of these two parts? Uh, actually. Uh, if I am writing here, I just wanted to make this clear by an example and the example can be looks like a plus b whole square equal a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay dear students, look at the uh, part here. Here is left side as well as the right side and equation and identity both has left side and right side. So this can be equation and identity too but one thing what i wanted to um, uh, clear that at the case of identity both sides value must be same the value of both sides must be same uh, value of both sides must be same value of both sides must be same this is the identity and the equation here it can be same it can be not same so may or may not may or may not that means the value of both side can be same or not uh, so uh, why we are talking about this is an identity as well as equation what actually the value is if we are taking or uh, let us assume that a equal 1 and b equal 2 then we get a that is our left side will be 1 plus 2 whole square will be a square plus 2 a 2 plus 2 square then 3 square or 9 equal to 1 plus 4 plus 4 so 9 so here we can observe that our both sides value are same since the value of both sides are equal that so we have must have to say that this is an identity as well as equation or if we are writing like this x square plus 5x plus 6 equals 0 what will be this in this case we must have to say this is an equation but not an identity why because 
the value of left side and right side can be not equal can be not equal and that's why we can say this is just only an equation not the identity okay then we are trying to focus on we are trying to focus on the solution or solve and solution set solution set why why is the difference of solution or solve and solution set solve a solution suppose there is a equation x plus 5 equal 3 this is an equation from this equation if we are trying if we find the value of x if we find the value of x then that will be known as the solve or solution so x equal 3 minus 5 or minus 2 here we just find the value of the unknown thing so this is the uh, solve or solution so even write it as solved if your question says you have to solve this then you must have to write solve you can't write answer it's a very very important thing what you have to have remain in your mind that if there is a solve or solution you must have to write solved and another thing if this is given for the solution set then what will be there x will be 3 minus 5 or minus 2 uh, same thing for the rest, right as well as the left side but at the case of solution set you have to write required solution set equal to second bracket of minus 2 so since here is talking about the set you must have to use the symbol of set and that is the second bracket so when there is talking about solution set you have to use the second bracket but if there is talking about the solve you have to solve and write here solve since you have written already required solution set that's why you may write here as answer so this is the basic difference between solve and solution set which may be or uh, which makes you always confused at the case of these 5.1 chapters and this is the end of the basic uh, section now we are going uh, to our move on our next part that is problem solution okay our next math uh, so in the, at the case of problem solution we are talking about three or four maths so our first question number three here is given four by twice six plus one plus nine by three six plus two equal twenty five divided by 5x plus 4 this is the question number 3 and we have to just solve the problem when we are going to solve these types of problem we must have to keep in our mind how can we solve this math very easily okay this math can be solved uh, 4 by 26 plus 1 plus 9 by 36 plus 2 will be equal to here is 15 50 uh, 25 it can be written as 15 plus 10 isn't it so 15 divided by 5x plus 4 plus uh, 10 divided by 5x plus 4 now uh, here is given a uh, uh, even integer here is also the even integer this is odd this is also odd so take the even and odd to the one sided so it will be 4 by 26 plus 1 minus 10 by 5x plus 4 equal 15 by 5x plus 4 minus 9 by 36 plus 2. So we are going for the LCM part. Then we can rewrite here uh, 20x uh, plus 16 minus 20x minus 10. So, 45x plus 30, 45x minus 36, 20, 20 gun, 6 by 26 plus 1, 5x plus 4, 
45 x 45 is gone so minus 6 by 5x plus 4 3x plus 2 here is also one thing you have to observe that 5x plus 4 5x plus 4 is gone and 6 and 6 gone so here is 1 here is minus 1 so multiply this it will be 36 plus 2 into 1 and this into this now uh, 5x equal minus 3 or x equal minus 3 by 5 this is our required salt this is our required salt so how we can solve these types of math just convert uh, 25 into 15 plus 10 then we are just uh, changing its side according to even odd system then uh, LCM after that cutting some values and then cross multiplication and get our final answer so this is how we can solve these types of math now we are going to move on number 6 Okay, number six. Here is given one by x plus one, one by x plus four, one by x plus two, one by x plus three. Here there is two odd and two even number. Here is four, here is two even, here is three, here is one odd. So, uh, odd and even should be changed its side by its own characteristics. So, it will be 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 3 equal 1 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 4. Now, going for the LCM part, then it will be x plus 3 minus x minus 1, it will be x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus 4 minus x minus 2 so here we have seen that x x can so it will be 2 by x plus 1 x plus 3 equal 2 by x plus 2 and x plus 4 now 2 to gun 2 to gun so here is 1 here is also 1 cross multiplication we have to have then it will be and also multiply this x into x x square x into 4 4x 2 into x 2x 2 into 4 8 so uh, now this so x square plus 3x plus x plus 3 now if we are trying to calculate it then it will be x square plus 6x plus 8 minus x square minus 4x minus 3 equal to 0 so it will be x square x square gone so 2 by 6 and plus 5 equal 0 so x equal minus 5 by 2 x equal minus 5 by 2 this is the salt so this is how we can solve these types of math uh, number 6 and now we are going to move on number 7 question 7 is a by number 7 question x minus a plus b by x minus b equal a plus b divided by x minus a minus b how we can solve these types of math here there is a plus b that is 15 plus 10 that way so you have to solve like our question number 5 so here is a here is also a so take it as in one side
So take it common as a, then it will be x minus a minus b minus x plus a. So we are just taking it uh, the LCM part where A and B was common for the both side. Now uh, A A X X done. So minus A B divided by X minus A into X minus A minus B equal to X X B B done. So A B A minus B into X minus B. So it, this 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 all are gone. So we can write minus x plus b equal x minus a or twice x equal a plus b. So x equal a plus b by 2. So this is our required solution. Uh, how we can solve this step 7? First we have to sense the site according to their a or b, the numerator part. Then taking it as common then going for the LCM and finally we have got our answer ok now our next math number 8 question number 8 says x minus a by b x minus b by a x minus 3a minus 3b by a plus b equals 0. We have to solve this math and this math is very very important for you. Okay. x minus a by b plus x minus b by a plus x by a plus b minus 3 into a plus b by a plus b equals 0. We just uh, try to separate this first. Secondly, 3 uh, was common then it can be written as this then what we have written from this line we can write x by a plus b minus 3 equal 0 so x minus a by b minus 1 x minus b by a minus 1 x by a plus b minus 1 will be 0 so b would be our LCM x minus a minus b that is a is our LCM x minus b minus a here a plus b or LCM x minus a minus b equal 0 so finally we can take common as x minus a minus b 1 by b plus 1 by a plus 1 by a plus b equals 0 look at that here is our x or unknown thing but here is no unknown thing uh, that means these all are the fixed part so it can be written as x minus a minus b equals 0 or x equal a plus b which is our required solution. So this is the end of today's lecture. Hopefully uh, you can understand total mass. Please practice in your home. Thank you very much.